wake up, girl. We're gonna make her. We're gonna make her wake up. Hello, friends. Today I am at Trader Baker's in Martinsville, Indiana. Um, it's been a while since I've been in here, but one of my very favorite antique malls have closed and I know a lot of the vendors actually came in to this flea market. So we're going to see what new booths have been added. So let's go shopping. Greater Bakers, here we go. Well, here we've got a little McCoy. Oh, this is Shawnee. I thought for sure it was McCoy when I first looked at it for $12. So. I do like that. I love these little pastel color pots. They look so cute in displays. So I think I'm going to get that. I don't see any boobers on it. And it does have its under tray. This one's a modern one. This one is false. Is that false crop? No. Pearl and Graf USA. Okay. That does say false Graf USA. <laughs> So does that. Oh, good boy. Let's see. It's going to be that kind of a day, huh? It's going to be that kind of a day. We're going to put this one in our cart. This one is McCoy. It's a beauty. They have $40 on it. That's a beautiful pot there. That lovely color. Oh, we've got some glasses with little shells on them. And some Sea Life transfers. Ten glasses. $10. I don't really like to buy glasses because I, they're kind of a pain in the butt to ship and they don't really sell for a whole heck of a lot, but those are really pretty. Those are very pretty. There we see a fairy lamp for 22. It's the amber uh, moon and star. No, yeah, moon and star, stars and bars. I always get them confused. <sighs> I shouldn't, but I do. My brain doesn't always work, but it's 22. I'm not going to get those. I actually have a couple of them myself in that exact same style that I need to uh, sell. This is not a very, this is not Murano. It's got a very rough Pontel mark. Uh, it's purple. That's about all it's got going for it, in my opinion. Let's see. Oh. Aunt Jane's Preserves. Well, that is, that's a modern piece. It's still cute, though. Some blue little watering can. It's a beautiful chandelier there for fifty dollars. That's a great price. This is a really cool flower frog here. It's twenty-five dollars. It's got this really pretty bird on it. That's that bird is really intent on getting those flowers too. Oh, it's pretty neat, but I don't think I can do twenty. Well. I'm going to think about that. It's pretty yep. amazing. Here's a really pretty orange flower paperweight. I just love looking at the interior. That's $5. It's not a bad price, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Let's see. Got a little dog up there. Tasmanian devil. Yeah, I'm always looking for ephemera. I usually don't buy Post or Life magazines. They're pretty prevalent. And they're about in every booth. I usually don't buy those. So I'm not going to get those. Some um, Sooner Glass Swans up there. Here's some old books. So what are these books? It's $15. The Pussy Family. Well... Key cats. Um, this is vintage, but I'm not going to gamble and say that this is an antique book. Let's see. It's actually in pretty good condition. Let's see if there's a copyright date. Oh, there's a little sailor boy. Um, no, but I'm sure this is probably at the turn of the century, at least. Fifteen dollars. Hmm. I think I can do that. Let's check out this other one. Oh no, it's German. Here we go. I think that's German. Tiger. Boy. 
It's a song book. Bowen Harpen. Um, it's ten. Mm. All right. Can't get those today. Here's a little red vintage jointed bear from the Shanghai Dolls Factory. He, it's made in China, but it's just really cute. It's vintage. I'm not going to get it today. They do want $10 for it, but it actually looks really good. I had him in this little metal thing, and they've got like a porch swing up here. So let's just take a moment and look at their displays. They've got really fun things, red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. So this is a great booth that's really making sure they're keeping up with the seasons. I like that. We even got babies here. Her little eyes are going back and forth. Wake up, girl. We're gonna make her we're gonna make her wake up. It's daytime now. Oof. This this is an eight piece set. Twenty. Okay, it's got the pitcher and the cups. Hmm. Huh. We'll see. Here's a little laundry sprinkler. I love these. I have a red one. She's twenty dollars. Mary made sprinkler. So you'd use her put your water in when you're ironing your clothes. If you do that sort of thing, I don't. Oh, here's a receipt spike for fifteen. Down here we've got some these little bowls. There's six. I do like those. They are marked USA. Are they six each? I'm gonna go on a limb and say yes. Starble. They're red and green. They look really good stacked too. So I'm gonna at least get two of them. I might get four. Here's a little composition doll. She's, moving, she's in a cheese box. Which I mean, if I was a comp, oh, there's two of them in here. A vintage doll. She's seven dollars. Boy, she does. She's missing her hair, and she's got a broken hand. Inside here's a little penny doll. She's five. She does have her little original clothes on, but I am gonna get her. We are gonna get her. Okay, it says that there's a big sale in this booth. Look for yellow tags. I see blue tags. Not seeing really any yellow tags. Well, I see a couple yellow tags over there, but we'll check the There's some clowns there. For these. Those are antique milk glass bowls that are hand dyed. Oh gosh. Set of four fancy milk glass bowls, hand painted pink, nine dollars and twenty three cents. Those are really pretty. I know you guys are probably oh you should get those. I'm not. I'm just. I'm buying things that I like. I'm not a Victorian gal. Let's look. Imperial glass for seven dollars and twenty three cents. Well, that's a little project there. These little bowls. Oh, these are fancy. I want to drink my champagne from these flutes. Set of four. They are beautiful. They're only $5.53 for the set of four. They are so thin and delicate. I don't want to ship those, but that's fancy. This is Fenton for 30 Prices of Fenton have been going up and up and up and up. It's becoming very, very popular again, which we like. I see a couple yellow. Dollar, dollar and ninety three cents for that um, green casserole, but it's not vintage enough for me. Or that, Look at this big bolster for your bed, nine dollars and twenty three cents. It's like an iris. Who are you? A little owl character with glasses. There's a little piece of Fenton here. 
The paneled daisy, $10.23. Here is a Czechoslovakia. There's the label on the bottom. Moose mug, it's $3. And it does have a little boober right there, but I'm going to get it because they look really great in the wintertime with bottle brush trees in it. So I'm still going to get it for $3. Here are a couple glasses here that I really like the design on them. They're $2.95 each. And there are, I think, six of them. Um, I like that de that texture and design on them, but be three dollars. It's about twenty dollars for the set of six. So I don't know. I don't know. But let's look and see. Look, there's Chicken Little. <laughs> Sky is falling. Sky is falling. Oh, that cake looks good. Yum. I love cakes like that. Yum, yum, yum. There's a tobacco roller. $4.95. Let's see what else is in this booth. There's a big jar full of toys. Sometimes you can't get to everything. You have to move things around in order to get to see some of the things back here. What could be hiding? Again, I'm always looking for the weird, unusual. These aren't weird nor unusual, but they're cute. Little hobnail creamer and open sugar set. Little miniature ones. Bubble up. Mirror candies. Nine to five cents. It's pretty, it's pretty rusty though. This would have had a hanging sconce on that there. This is a planter for 95 cents. That's new. Opal House planter. Nope, I know Opal House is a decent name, but I don't want to buy it if it's new. Modern. There's another one there. 95 cents. guys are missing their lids. It's clear glass that has been sprayed or painted. There's a little longer burger, but I don't buy that either. I know it has value. Some of it does, but I'm only buying the things that interest me. Not seeing anything in this booth today. You can buy things that even if they're not your thing, you can sell them, but at this point, with the amount of inventory that I already have, I'm kind of just sticking with the things that kind of speak to me a little bit. So that's what I meant by that. I didn't mean that you couldn't buy it and make money off of it. I know that you could, but it's just not what I want. Cheese and wine anytime. Amen. I agree with that sentiment. Oh, there's a little Pillsbury Doughboy. Let's see what's in here. I found a few things in this booth before I remember. You're a Viking. For five dollars. I think. You got the shape of Viking. Maybe you're not, but I bet you do glow. Are you Fenton? I don't think you are. But maybe you are. I don't know. I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. Three blind mice, mother goose. Here's a really pretty purple blown vase for six ninety five. There's a crackle crackle one up there for fifteen. Oh, there's some Vantelligen. They're twenty two. Yeah. yeah, I've seen these guys have been out here for a while. I think one of them had a boober on it, if I remember right. Maybe not, but they've been here for a little while. So Ellie Smith, banana bowl for 12. Little slag glass basket for 12. This is pretty. It's for eggs, it's a little relish tray. tray. 
It's eight dollars, but oh god, I just don't want to. I'm not buying big things that I have to ship. That's not my, what I'm looking for today. Oh, are you? You're a beanbag baby from the Animal Kingdom. That's a fun little set here for eight dollars. Little child's cream and sugar and salt and pepper shaker set. That's kind of cute. Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Do, 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 do. They're cute. Simon was my favorite. Actually, the Theodore. So I like Simon because he wore glasses, but Theodore was kind of the chubby one, and I, I like, I like that. This is kind of a fun booth over here. Got a lot of nice things. I like this big laundry cart too. And they've got this fun little pink display going on here. This is nice. Milk glass dish for twenty five at Diamond Points. Pretty. And then these were marked. They have them marked as Fire King. They were twenty four dollars for the set of four. Very pretty pastel colors. And then here's a great TV lamp here for twenty five. Um, those are different canisters, like mirrors. Not cute. That's really cute. You did a good job, Booth. Well, here is a little cut to clear candle votive for a dollar ninety-five. It's pretty. I might. Oh, there is two of them. I was like, oh, I wish there was. Actually, there's a red one too. So there's a red one too for a dollar ninety-five. So I think I'm gonna get those. It'll be pretty for Christmas time. Oh, there is another. So there's green and red. So I'm gonna get both sets of those. Who remembers this Fisher Price bowling? I do. I remember that's twenty dollars. Mm, oh my gosh. Uh, no. 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 Oh, look at the Barbie cars. Barbie vet. This is the super vet. Barbie always had a Corvette. She was always living beyond her means. What did Barbie? Oh, I guess she did a lot of things, didn't she? She had lots of different careers in her life. Oh, there's strawberry shortcake. It's $15. No thermos. It's in pretty rough shape. Cameras. There's E.T. down there, too. Oh, I'll have to look through these books here in just a second. There's another um, Barbie Corvette. Oh, I see monkey. Are you zip? Oh, there's the, hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. You're not zip. I think you're an imposter. Let's look. You look a little suspect to me. Yeah. You're not. Well, hang on. Hang on. Let's look at your tag. Superior novelty made in Korea. You're vintage, I think, but you're not the OG 1950s zip. You're not. You're $15. Well, look at the little baby Patsy. She's an F&B doll, but she is a, re a remake. She's made in China, but she's got little roller skates on. She's $15, but my goodness... She sits down. I think she's be adorable in a display. Isn't she cute? Ooh, what's this? This old hand-tooled leather pouch for ten. Oh my gosh, these are fun. I remember. Oh look, there's Mamwich in there. Oh. We've got some neat things in the in this booth. Man, I'm just, I'm torn because she's new. But man, I think that she'd be great for a display. Mm. we got Neil the Frog and the Mary Mushroom set. And see, they've got these old games. I love the way that they're stacked like that. So at yard sales and stuff, that'd be a great thing to look for. All right. Oh, here's a kitty cat. Your studio home studio piece there. I got some fun things here. These little guys. They are 
Handy Flame, Indianapolis are $12. That's a Harajuku girl. Hmm. Wooden Spice Rack for $24. Not a bad price. I'm, just, I'm in a weird mood today. I'm not going to lie. I'm just I'm in a weird mood. Oh, here's another ball. That's also $6. I'm kind of like questioning $6. Is that too much to pay for those? But... This one's black. Should I get... Hmm, that one's got a booper on the bottom. Sometimes it's not good to shop when you're in a weird mood. I'm kind of in a weird mood today. There's a little one for $3. Little honey bee bowl. Honey, I call them honey hive bowls, but they just, just because of the shape. It's over here. What are you? <laughs> got a hatchet in your hand you're in, but you're a nurse you're weird $18 nurse carving <laughs> she's a little different okay this this makes me laugh he's cute though too he's a cute little laughing bunny <laughs> laughing bunny he's $9.95 it's American pottery it makes me laugh these are cute too these are just like studio painted cats. They're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just little figurines that somebody has painted. They are vintage. They're $9.95 for the set. Here we've got a little blue fridgy. Here we've got a Siamese cat for $14. I think it's, it's marked Japan. It's kind of my mood today. Hmm, I don't know. What else is over here? Got a red elephant. Ooh, look at these circus glasses. Instead of five. Um they don't have clowns on them, which makes them a little bit better, in my opinion. Fifty dollars firm. Amber Hob now for four ninety five. That's Fenton. Which is a great price. Just not gonna get it today. I'm just not in the mood. What does this say? Dill it'll do okay little enamel pot it's dansk oh, yeah it's 24.95 all right that's that seems like a very tall stool there okay well let's keep looking these jars are pretty neat they're just like a old pickle jar and they've got this old transfer on it they are only seven dollars each, but wow, they're pretty fun, aren't they? Mm, no, this little rag doll here, she's seven, and it's oh, so amazing to me that these were teether rings for babies. Little celluloid head up there. They're both fifteen dollars each. Those are pretty cool, though. Those canisters. They're just jars with an old decal on them, but lots of really fun colors for seven dollars each. Well, hello, Mr. Bear. Little rubber face bear. You're a mule music bear. For $10, do you still work? I bet you don't because you don't have your... Nope. He's cute. This one's jointed one for 30 He's cute, too. They're getting harder to find. These pair of peacocks for 20 They are made in China. They're not old. They, they have some, like, that as an outfit there. It's like a hanging table. Yeah, it is. Let's see. Got a piece of coral here. On this mirrored base, it's not old. It probably isn't even a real coral. Oh, I like this little printer's jar here. This would be great for, like, Wade Whimsies. It's 25 It would be great to put your little Wade Whimsy collection on, I think. I love the garden gates too. Those are so neat. And this fun with this old Detroit dual jewel stove. That's a lot of fun, but I saw this. It's a teeth garage. Now I've got some chopper hoppers, but I didn't know that there was a teeth garage. This is for the king. It's $18. So I can't do that. It's got he's got some boobers on his crown, but I bet they had one for the queen as well. 
These are nice. Emma likes these little juice glasses. Well, she likes the taller ones. They're $20 for the set of four of those. But there are some fun things in this booth, but I wanted to show you that stove. I thought that was pretty neat. Goodness, my goodness gracious, it's the SS Cupid for a dollar. I mean, how can I not? How can I refuse you? You'd be great for a 4th of July display. Getting a cart, QB. It's the, I'm in the same booth that I just got that pillow out of. I'm going to move you up here, Jesus. But, look at... QB likes ice cream. It's a Cupista. 2006. Branson, Missouri. It's a little cutie teddy bear. Look, see? You could take down his hat. Look, it's a little cutie teddy bear from the cutie set, and there's a little doodle dog. That's not really a doodle dog, because doodle dog's not brown. But, I'm not gonna get it, but I thought it was worth pointing out. There's another one. My home. The birdhouse. Rose O'Neill QB. For two dollars. I mean, I'm gonna get it. I don't... Oh, here's a little... I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It doesn't match anything. But... I can't... How can I not? I'm gonna set you right here for a minute, little QB. But I'm gonna check out this guy. He's a little Christmas ornament guy for a dollar. We'll get him. He's got a little tinsel on his hat. Gosh, I need to look for more cutie things in this booth, apparently. I mean, you're not cutie, but you're still very cute, sir. So we're going to get you. Well, here is, I haven't seen one of these in a while. A little wide mouth frog. He is a dollar, so I will be getting him. He has a little, his glaze is missing right there, but for a dollar, he's a great, he just needs cleaned up because he's a pretty dirty frog. You can see here there are a lot of empty booths. I got a ping pong. I just needed the ping pong paddles. I didn't need the whole ping but it's $5 for all of it. So, I mean, I just, I needed the paddle because we're making something for vacation for it. But a lot of empty um, booths and I'm not finding in a whole heck of a lot, but we're gonna keep looking. We're probably more than halfway through. There's just not a lot here today. And, you know, as with many flea markets, there's a lot of, you know, like buying in bulk things like the soaps and tools and that sort of thing. And that's just not what I'm looking for. So, and clothes and shoes, appliances, sweepers, strollers, bras, those kinds of things. Not what I'm looking for today. Well, here is an old Mountain Dew can. Well, it's not. It's got a barcode on it, but they, uh, but but this, <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's fifty dollars. It is the Looky Fire Truck. Look at them, the little hats, and those little eyes go up and down when he rolls. That's pretty adorable. But it's fifty dollars, so I can't do that. But yeah, a lot of empty. Booths. There's a whole bunch of carpenter bee traps, though. So if you need one of those, this booth has got plenty. Um. Yeah. So I think we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna wrap it up. Well, we're back in the car again. I did get a few things. I ended up spending like forty-six dollars on the things that I got. So it wasn't a real productive trip. But um, it gives me a good idea of maybe who has set up booths there. But boy, there's a lot of empty booths. So that's a little discouraging. But um, anyway, everything that I bought today are things that you had seen me put in my cart. So if there's anything that you might be interested in, you can send me an email. ThriftyJunkerVintageHunter at gmail.com. And um, I'll let you know if it's available now or if it's going to be available in a live sale. Anyway, thank you guys so much for going shopping with me. And, you know sometimes some days are better than others and today I was in a little bit of a mood today so I wasn't really in the mood to buy a whole heck of a lot that's not always a bad thing right so thank you guys for going shopping with me and I'll see you in the next one bye red hot mama red hot mama you're the one we need red hot mama some charmer yes indeed say that I should be in the follies hot tamales
say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Sven Valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town, and unless I miss my.